Good morning. Good morning. I'd like to introduce to you our first Holy Communicants uh, this morning. We have five. Uh, our first Communicants would be first is Melissa. Okay, welcome. Next is Connor. Welcome, Connor. Brandon. Okay. We have Jaden. And then we have Alisa. Welcome to our celebration, and uh, we are so happy to to be with you here, and also their parents. Okay, thank you. I spoke, O Lord, of your decrees before kings, and I was not confounded. I pondered your commands and loved them greatly. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, let us call to mind our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who willed that St. John the Baptist should go ahead of your Son, both in his birth and in his death, grant that he died as martyr for truth and justice. We too may fight hard for the confession of what we teach through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The word of the Lord came to me thus. 
gird your loins, stand up and tell them all that I command you. Do not be crushed on their account, as, that, as though I would ever leave you to be crushed before them. For it is I this day who have made you a fortified city, a pillar of iron, a wall of brass, against the whole land, against Judah's kings and princes, against its priests and people. They will fight against you, but not prevail over you. For I am with you to, to deliver you, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. I will sing your salvation. I will sing your salvation. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me and deliver me. Incline your ear to me and save me. I will sing your salvation. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. For you are my rock and my fortress. O oh my God, rescue me from the hand of the wicked. I will sing your salvation. For you are my hope, O Lord, my trust, O God, from my youth. On you I depend from birth. From my mother's womb, you are my strength. I will sing your salvation. My mouth shall declare your justice, day by day your salvation. O God, you have taught me from my youth. Until the present, I proclaim your wondrous deeds. I will sing your salvation. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are those who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Herod was the one who had John the Baptist arrested and bound in prison on account of Herodias, the wife of his brother Philip, whom he had married. John said, had said to Herod, It is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. Herodias harbored a grudge against him and wanted to kill him, but was unable to do so. Herod feared John knowing him to be a righteous and holy man, and kept him in custody. When he heard him speak, he was very much perplexed, yet he liked to listen to him. She had an opportunity one day when Herod, on his birthday, gave a banquet for his courtiers, his military officers, and leading men of Galilee. Herodias' own daughter came in and perform a dance that delighted Herod and his guests. The king said to the girl, Ask me of whatever you wish, and I will grant it to you. He even swore many things to her. I will grant you whatever you asked of me, even to the half of my kingdom. She went out and said to her mother, What shall I ask for? She replied, The head of John the Baptist. The girl hurried back to the king's presence and made her request. I want you to give me at once on the platter the head of John the Baptist. The king was deeply distressed. But because of his oaths and guests and the guest, he did not wish to break his word to her. So he promptly dispatched the executioner with orders, bring back his head. He went off and beheaded him in the prison 
he brought in the head on the platter and gave it to the girl, and the girl in turn gave it to the mother. When his disciples heard about it, they came and took his body and laid it in the tomb. The Gospel of the Lord. First and foremost, I'd like to uh, welcome our communicants and also the parents. In the benefit of uh, our new faces and here, my name is Father Handonero. I'm, uh, I'm an Archdiocese priest as well, but in medical leave and been living here, going back and forth from St. Gabriel and here in Mount Carmel. And it, it's really an honor to do the Mass for you. But I'm so, before the Mass, I'm so skeptical because our Gospel reading is very, very graphic in the sense. But, you know, we need to do what we need to do. And uh, we have in here our communicant. I'm going to ask you, it's your birthday. What are you going to ask? Don't tell me you're going to ask the head too, huh? <laughs> Probably you're going to ask, <laughs> not my head. <laughs> Probably you're going to ask, what? Uh, probably computer games, something like that. It's just so odd how the girl actually thought about it. That, you know, in order to please the mom, the mom has that grudge. And he put that one into the context of a girl in order to get what she wants. What she wants. But let's take the spirituality of Herod. Herod, even though that he has that bad track record, that still on the grace of God, he has that spirituality wherein he still fears John the Baptist. He cannot even put him to death. It seems that because of pride, because of arrogance, because of pride in his words, that he gave in. But the whole context of the gospel is not about Herod. The death of John the Baptist is the victory, the victory of divine mission of Christ. And Jesus himself fulfilled that victory. Remember that. John the Baptist rejoiced with the victory. His life ends and Jesus' life opened. It's the continuation. Remember, John the Baptist preached about penance. He's preparing for the greater kingdom. That's why you guys, you receive the baptism, right? That's what John the Baptist has been preaching. Because you are preparing for what? For this big day. You're going to receive Christ now fully and wholly through the sacrament of the Eucharist. This sacrament is the very summit of all the sacraments. What do you mean of summit? Summit, it means to say the highest of all the sacrament. Because it actually, all the sacrament geared into what? To Jesus himself. Jesus himself. So as we receive today the sacrament, are you communicants in here? I want you to understand fully what is or what are you receiving today? You are receiving the true body and blood of Christ. The true body and blood of Christ. There's a saying goes that you become what you eat, right? You saw that advertisement? In TV, that he was he wants the waffle, and he came out with the waffle and everything. Yeah. yeah, you become what we eat. Put that one into the context of our Eucharist. If you're receiving Jesus Christ Himself in here, the expectation for you is to become who? To become like Christ, like you become like Christ in the virtue of your baptism. It also become it's fulfilled, and become Christ like. It means to say. That if Jesus is merciful, what is expected of you? You need to be also merciful. If Jesus himself is lovable, think about that. You are called to be lovable as well. If Jesus persevere, remember the Eucharist that you receive. 
you also called to persevere. So, my dear brothers and sisters, our new communicants in here, as we receive and go move forward to receive Jesus, anytime that people going to take you to the edge, that you're going to lose your control, think about Jesus in you. Think about how he will react if he was in your place. Probably through that, you'll be able to develop virtue, patience, and love, not only for yourself, but to people around you, and more so to God. Amen? Amen. Let us turn to the Heavenly Father with these petitions, knowing that He loves us and hears our prayer. For missionaries throughout the world, may they receive God's blessings and comfort as they make His love known to them. We pray to the Lord. Lord For policymakers, May God grant them wisdom in decision-making. We pray to the Lord. Lord For couples who are struggling within their marriage, may God's grace grant them courage to forgive and reconciliation. We pray to the Lord. Lord For members of our faith community, may the Holy Spirit guide us in all aspects of our lives we pray to the Lord. The Lord and for our young communicants who are here today, may God protect and guide them in their continued journey of faith. We pray to the Lord. The Lord and for the repose of Colin Schramm, whom this Mass is being offered, and for all of our beloved dead, that they may forever rejoice in the kingdom of heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord Let us also pray for our parents in here that they will be able to guide our communicant to discover Jesus Christ in their life and fully fulfilled their own sacrament of First Communion, the sacrament of the Eucharist as they receive the First Communion and live like Christ-like life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Let us also pray for our first responders, our nurses, our doctors, our allied workers, that they be able to protect them against the threat of coronavirus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Lastly, Father, we offer you our own personal intentions that we hold in the silence of our heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. God of grace and peace, hear the prayers of your people. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours will be acceptable to God Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the greater glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Through these offerings which we bring you, O Lord, 
Grant that we may make straight your paths, as taught by that voice crying in the desert, St. John the Baptist, who powerfully sealed his teaching by the shedding of his blood through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with you. Lift up your hearts. Up Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In his precursor, St. John the Baptist, we praise your great glory, for you consecrated him for a singular honor among those born of women. His birth brought great rejoicing. Even in the womb he lived for joy, as the coming of human salvation. He alone of all the prophets pointed out the Lamb of Redemptions. And to make holy the flowing, the flowing waters, he baptized the very author of baptism and was privileged to bear him supreme witness by shedding of his blood. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship constantly on earth and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed the sea who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Salvatore, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be yours to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take me. Behold the love of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the supper of the Lamb. Lord, 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 John answered and said, He must increase, but I must decrease. So, Monsignor is going to give first the Holy Communion to our communicants, and then we'll follow after that. Amen.
Please join me to pray the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, as we celebrate the heavenly birth of St. John the Baptist, that we may revere for what it signifies, the saving sacrament we have received, and even more may rejoice as its clear effects in us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Before the final blessing, I'd like to congratulate Melissa, Connor, Brandon, Jaden, and Eliza. May the Lord God be with you always, and always remember this, that once you receive Christ in you, remember always, when you interact with other people, when you deal with other people, always remember how would Jesus react if they were with you. Amen? Amen. I just have a short announcement. After this Mass, we'll have a baptism and kindly just leave the uh, the chairs uh, here so we'll uh, just remove it afterwards thank you so much the lord be with you Amen. please bow down for the blessings may god the glory and joy of the saints who has caused you to be strengthened by means of their outstanding prayers bless you with an ending blessings amen, Amen. Freed through their intercession from present ills, and formed by the example of their holy way of life, you may be ever devoted to serving God and your neighbor. Amen. 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 So that, together with all, you may possess the joys of the homeland, where Holy Church rejoices that her children are admitted in perpetual peace to the company of the citizens of heaven. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down with you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be God. to God. The uh, parents and then the first communicants, you may want to have your picture taken inside the church. You can go inside. And if you have some materials for blessing, just approach us. I'd like to thank our catechists, our teachers who form these kids uh, to receive the Holy uh, First Holy Communion. Thank you so much for your uh, effort and uh, uh, sharing the doctrine to our kids. Thank you. Amen.